Then we have other spots that look a bit like a bomb's gone off underwater, you know? That's the only kind of way to describe it. Um, at deeper areas of Maui Garden Bay, that's a quadrant there. I'm picking up sediment. Okay? It's like icing on a cake. You know, it's just laying on the across the sediment, uh, the surface of the rocky reef. Okay. Um, it's not sediment from the land, presumably. It's a long term. It's I don't think so. No. Yeah, yeah. Or no, I think it is. There's, there'll be a source somewhere, and one of the things I'd like to do is through stable isotope analysis, mm -hmm. you can actually work out where the origin of that mm -hmm. is, mm -hmm. and that might be something that would be really useful. You know, yeah. because. Um, it is, a, it is an increasing, or has been a problem for a while. We've had a lot of coastal erosion in the last few years when we've had big winter downpours sure. and then we've lost some big portakawa tree mm. and then you'll just see mm. a, a lake okay. of sediment yeah. and of course that gets distributed around the island depending on the type. Yeah, sure. So, so it could just be related to that, right? Erosion, which is a natural process. But it's just whether, whether with changing periods of climate or increased storminess, whether it exacerbates, that's the issue, right? Because um, a lot of these things would have evolved in time. Um, while they can deal with some level of sediment, right? It's just how frequent it is. And this is this here is a sponge, okay? You know, in the in the last picture we saw an anchorina that was grey and it was really healthy looking. This is um, this is one here, and I'm just moving the sediment across it, right? So it's a bit like, so that filtering the seawater. You imagine if you've got a thick layer of sediment on you. you know. um, okay, so you can do, hopefully you can just see those contrasting environments, right? Um, say, say if we didn't have the Kinnabarans, then what we'd expect is it would be the mixed algae in the shallows and then it would be a clonia all the way down to the deep. Okay, deeper parts. Mm -hmm. So there would be naturally that that Okay. And this is a horse muscle just off the reef. And again it's covered in sediment. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're filtering. Um you have to filter that sediment. What were the mussel populations like around the island? The horse mussel or the green the green. green. Yeah, we didn't actually get into the intertidal areas oh. of the survey, but we didn't find any subtidal beds. Okay, so there are subtitle beds around here, this this region of the Gulf, but we didn't have, find any. Mm -hmm. And so, so we lay a transect out from the shallows yeah. all the way down to the end of the reef, and then we video the, the main habitat types. And when we're swimming to do the lobster surveys and the fish surveys, we're noting habitats as well. So we cover big areas, yeah. but yeah, we didn't come across any. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then that's why... Um, after meeting all you lovely folk, we could have a bit of a discussion and you might know where they are and then we can set up monitoring, mm. community-based monitoring where you can start tracking them through time. Yeah. Cool. Things like that. Um, reef fish, um, the way we do it is that we swim along a transect and we count. Okay? And we're only going down narrow corridors so we might miss species. But the main, main things we saw were juvenile snapper, okay, red mokey, um, Spotties, and then um, occasional, we've got um, eagle rays, we've got a short tailed stingray just in here, that was awesome, yeah. you know, and um, so, so we can build up a picture of the biodiversity which is low to moderate and that's what we'd expect here in this part of the Gulf, but we can, I'd like to use another technique called baited underwater video, where we actually put down baited units and they can actually attract more of the um, bigger fish, okay, that might be scared away by us with scuba and things like that. So we'll probably do this here and around the noises um, in the not too distant future, okay. So we can actually use different techniques to build up a better picture of what the fish are doing. Mm. Okay. And, it's, and, it's, and it's a slow process, right, because we did a survey in March, okay, that's one data point. Okay, we can do another survey, there'll be a second data point. Once you get a third data point, you can start looking if there's any trends. Okay, that's what we're really interested. Are things going up, down, sideways, whatever, you know. Lobster. 
You see that graph? <laughs> <laughs> and and we we quantify um, habitats as well, and and we can I can compare the ones here to, to the reserves, and you have really amazing habitat for lobster towards the north, you know, and hopefully historically there's probably you know a good place to come and get lobster, right? And this is doing lots of searching, all right. Okay, so, so if we went back to the, the top five state of our goal, climate change, ocean certification, sedimentation, fishing and pollution, um, there's probably examples here that we can go, yep, you're being impacted by sedimentation. Yes, you're being impacted by fishing, right, because you've got the urchin barrens, historically. Um, pollution, maybe not point source from the island itself, but within the context of the Gulf, yes, you probably are getting affected by things, okay. Um, climate change and ocean acidification, well, we don't have any evidence for that, but if we're realistic and we want to be sustainable for the future, what's gonna get us through climate change and ocean acidification? Biodiversity. Yeah, biodiversity and Building resilience. Resilience, kelp forests. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you can see that parts of the island underwater are broken, right? Okay. But it's not unsurmountable. It's not we, we can we there's always we can turn things around. Okay. And that's the beauty of the marine environment. That's that's one thing that we've learned from from Lee and other marine reserves is you can set aside an area and you don't fish for a while. So it took 20 years before Lee started really showing promise. Same with Tafanui. Places like the Poor Knights, five to five years, because that's where they're located. They're located further out, more oceanic um, species and things like that. But all you're doing is you're stopping one activity, right? And you don't need to really do anything, okay? If you're prepared to wait 20 years, right? Most of us aren't, but okay. You, you contrast that to um, riparian planting. Okay, the, the dollars, the effort that has to go into that, the pest control, you know. So it's sort of like night and day when you're looking at marine protection, okay. You just need to set aside areas. Um, and we always like, we think about, it's, it's about banking. You're banking for the future if you can protect those big ones, okay. Because downstream they're going to produce more and stronger larvae that will get them through in secular decades, okay. So where to from here? <coughs> I, I left it blank for a purpose, but we can we can whiteboard it. <laughs> yeah. Um, one thing, one thing that um, comes to me first is that um, there's very little you can tell from apart from it gives you some indications doing a survey, but there must be historical knowledge within the community about what's changed, what the, your memories are. There might be fish log books of what it used to be like when you go fishing off um, Sandy Bay or something like that. There's a huge probably amount of information that would be fantastic to collate. Okay, because that all kind of feeds into, into what, it, what were kind of the markers like, say 20 years ago, you know, that we can use, yeah? <laughs> oh, right, yeah, okay. <laughs> Wow, when, when does it go back to? <laughs> yeah. When was the last? 80, 82, this start. Yeah, right. Did the people wait? No, unfortunately. Yeah. And I, I just like to I'll just say one other thing because we're on the topic of snapper. Snapper will be used. You know how we have indicators? We have indicators that we can use to work out change? And snapper will be one of the ones that will be used. Okay. And personally, I'm I'm not convinced that that's a good indicator to use. Okay. Because they do well yeah. anywhere. Okay. So it's really like, well, where are the butterfish? Okay. Mm. Where's the big muki? Where's the hapuka? Mm. So it's historically, that's hapuka out. Of here, <coughs> right? it's, it's things like that, and it comes back to the biodiversity, right? Mm. And that. Sure, the snapper fishery might be awesome, you know, um, 
But is that all we want? Is that all we're going to measure our success on? Or, hey, nothing wrong with the fishery, we can get snapper, you know? Mm -hmm. So there's that kind of um, thing we need to think about. Um, so can you just put, um, sorry, maybe some sort of collection of historical... That's one thing I'd like to add. I have a question. Mm. You're probably sensing a theme from my direction, but mm. in terms of indicator species, like the, the birds that fish, um, mm -hmm. i.e. blue penguins, mm -hmm. which we know are here, but mm -hmm. we know are not doing that well, mm. um, where, where do they sit in terms of the work that you guys do? Um, I'm probably the wrong, the wrong person to ask, but... Yeah. Um, the museum, Auckland Museum, Matt Rayner and his team and Guy from Auckland Council do bird, the bird monitor. I'm not sure if they've done bird work out here. There, is, there no, are birds there there that have been done here. Yeah. yeah. So but, yeah, like, I mean, so you might be able to talk to that better than me, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, when we talk about ecosystem indicators, yeah. the flora, the penguins, the quite easy to be used as one of those. Yeah. Mm. So, you know, you've got your baseline information for what's here now. But if you've got marine protection, because obviously they can't fly. So yeah. the immediate marine environment yeah. needs to be healthy. It's one thing having rat free items, but it's, yeah. if you don't have the food for them, well, then they're not going to thrive. Well, that's, um, my, that's my question about the other fish. It's like, well, you know, blue penguins don't eat snapper, but <laughs> they're going to be eating something. Yeah, well, they're not going to be eating. Have, have you guys um, like, you know, noticed a huge decline in bait fish? over recent yeah. years in terms of basic species like yellow-eyed mullet, smacks, sprats. Yeah. Sprats, mm. definitely. Yeah. That's one of the things that we've noticed at the noises is that there's, we used to have massive, massive schools of just yellow-eyed mullet just cruising the beaches all the time. Mm. The kingfish chasing them and things. Yeah. Yeah. You don't see yellow-eyed mullet anymore. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
and we're seeing it globally actually, because um, he's from the States, that yeah, that we're getting a narrowing and again a loss of diversity which is related to those extreme kind of events. Yeah. So and I'm not saying that that's the only cause, but again it's under pressure from environmental okay. factors. Yeah. So that person. might be why, yeah. <laughs> and even, even around um, places in um, remote places, um, that has very little um, human activity. Um, we've been able to track that. Yeah, things are changing as well. You know, mm, so it's okay. not it's not just extraction if if that happens. It's yeah. environmental factors as well. Yeah, okay. That's why that's why we went back to you know what are the pressures of the Gulf? That um, warming and the ocean acidification. Mm. Um, so there's lots of experiments that are happening. Mussels are, in, are actually probably going to be okay. Okay, power. If you know if the the pH keeps reducing, it aren't really going to stand a chance. Um, but there's all these unknowns as well. Yeah. You know, so um, I don't have an answer. For you, basically. Just, just on yeah. The, um, yeah. The rock thing. There is mm. a um, citizen science project that's been led out of Otago University, I think, which is yeah. marine meter squared. So if you are keen on that mm. side of you know monitoring and literally a square meter of that tidal zone, then knock yourself out. It's lots of fun. That's sort of what we were yeah, yeah. almost yeah, well doing. That's, that's one of the things that you could do would be really good is to mm. set up some permanent and you could do it in a way because it, um, we do Auckland Council's intertidal monitoring okay. and if you set it up in a way that's the same way, which yeah. hey, we do use metre square quadrats, yeah. um, then suddenly it's collected in the same way and it can actually be put in the context of the wider okay, Done. science. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could we have that on the list, please? Yeah, that sounds so cool. It's marine meter square. Yeah. There's a big website, they've got lots of identification resources. It's really fun, especially oh. for young people. Well, I say that. I think my teenagers disagree that it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Our organisation follows those workshops. Oh, yeah. Wanted or if we want to do a single day here, we can tie that in. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Um, Sounds great. Excuse me. I want to say, on the in this area, we were talking about the possibility of identifying areas, and you were talking about mussels, mm. Greenland mussels, mm. where where we identified a population and then monitor that, mm. which is separate from the square distance. Is that worth doing? Um, but you've just said mussels are going to be fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they might they might be you know um, I think a, a trend is yeah. Yeah. is, is that it all over introducing them to um, to the Gulf? Okay. Yeah, it's the, yeah, it's huge money at the moment being put yeah. into that. Yeah, but um, actually Moana's got um, expertise in Bay. yeah Kahu Bay and um, yeah. and various sites further north um, and even down in the Bay of Plenty, you know. Um, and but again, it's not a We've got to be really realistic. I think we've got to be realistic about what we're trying to do because, you know, back in the early 1900s, the first Thames was mm. thick with mussels, right? Um, is that our baseline we're trying to get to? If so, a lot of our coastlines changed so much, you know, sediment. Um, it was thick with trees too at that time. Yeah, 100 yeah. percent, right? So by dairy farms. Yeah, <laughs> and and I think I think that's a real key is that the nitrates coming out from there yeah. is affecting the water yeah. quality, right? And and that's one of the roots of, of the problems that we face here. In some ways, you're at the ambulance at the bottom of the cliff, right? So there's. There's small scale things that are happening which might just be people taking too much right through to the, the big things that are, um, you know, what, what can we do? And that the only real way I can see and is, is to make sure that our habitats are intact, you know, so we do have the buffers in place so that, you know, we can, and that, that's one thing about marine reserves is, and it's been shown globally, is that they're more resilient to, um, perturbations or impacts, they will recover faster, right? And that's purely because they have the bigger animals and the higher biodiversity. So so that it makes sense to in some way protect areas. And, it, and you know, like, um, it's about having, you know, if you think of all your, all your um, problems as nails, your, your tool's going to be a hammer, right? But you need to have a diversity of, of um, tools and you talk about to deal with different things and that might even be looking at protection differently okay maybe what about working with iwi and and forming mm -hmm. partnerships mm -hmm. right 
that then you can walk, walk together into the future um, you know, using traditional knowledge, science and, and local knowledge, you know. Um, it's not just, it's not the science that we don't have though, is it? It's the will, mm. collective will. Mm. Mm. But that's why, that's why communities can, can do it a, a, lo a lot. It's also really a shortage of data. Yeah. It's one of the major problems. Mm. If you can't yeah. say to somebody, oh, 10 years ago there was this, mm. Well, people go, oh no, it's fine. Mm. It's the same as it was 10 years ago. Yeah. I think so part of the pitch for, for the Marine Reserve is climate change mitigation because the kelp is a massive carbon sequester. So it's a really, really good way for us to sell it to people that if we can restore those kelp forests, we're going to sequester a huge amount of carbon. So this tiny little community could actually have a major effect like that. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I mean that, that's been studied at the moment um, because the thing is the seaweeds only live for five years max, right? So that carbon is, might be sequestered for a while but then it will go back into the system. It's whether or not the carbon um, as it gets remobilised stays in the sediment then that becomes um, a carbon sink. So, so the jury's still out on that but it, um, yeah, I'd run with that story for now. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can we yeah. have um, identifying populations to monitor on the board, please? Or is it not feasible to do that? And then secondly, the, is it feasible to look at reintroducing muscles? Yeah. I mean, the town muscle awesome. looks something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, we're going to throw one. Oh, yeah. on the Sorry, I missed that. Read the muscle restoration in my head. Yeah, yeah, um, we're hoping that we'll work with them this year. Um, it's about joining everyone up. Mm. Yeah, the more joined up you become, the, mm. the stronger your voice and the, the greater the, the, the chance for success with, with um, these restoration awesome. initiatives. Mm -hmm. Can I ask Sue a question again and just flip it around a little bit? And what, from your perspective, would be one of the best bang for bucks that Rakino could do that would contribute to the noises? Um, I think get excited about the idea of having an area of protection which is maybe ten times the size of anything we know in New Zealand. We've got no idea what we might see. And you know, the, the idea that we can learn from it, that we could all be involved in, in some of that marine work. So you know, there's Rakino is perfectly positioned to to be able to, you know, get with them, do some trials with with the scallops, with the mussels, with the seaweed. See how we could use that protection to kickstart regeneration in other parts of the Gulf. You know, so that you know you, you don't want to just protect this one place, but to investigate how it might help other areas how and how we might work together to achieve that, you know, um, and and start to really observe if you got something like this, how, how does it change what happens around mm -hmm. here? Or um, it, it does it change. And I mean I'm almost I'm almost certain it would after being out on Fort Harbor in lockdown we had not last year but the first lockdown mm -hmm. we had in weeks five and six just unbelievable what was happening out there and, and I know that I'm not the only one to say that there's heaps of people who have observations but you think that's what happens after six weeks of it having a rest in silence mm -hmm. in silence mm -hmm. in silence and just the different behaviour of the fish and things mm -hmm. that you saw and um, the different behaviour of the birds and you realise that we, we, we have it within us to make these changes um, mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> yeah, and we can um, together with EMR help set up some of these monitoring programs and then yeah. support, and then we can, you know, have, have meetings here. Hopefully, this is the most awesome hall ever. <laughs> and um, and um, and and nut these out, you know, move forward. You know, it's not unsurmountable. And, um, and could we also kind of have a symbiotic relationship with your research 
so that when we, we correlate uh, that information about a particular species, say I look after mussels or something,